Hi, this is Pastor Rick. Welcome to Living Hope Baptist Church. I want to read a scripture and talk about it a little bit this morning. It says in Psalm 90, verse 14, O oh, satisfy us early with your mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. And I was thinking one of our problems today is we don't... Um, spend enough time reading the Word of God and starting our day before we get into all of our burdens and troubles during the day with God. Have you ever had a quiet time with God? I'm talking about a time where you just get by yourself and open your Bible and begin reading a short passage and pray and talk to God and ask God to speak to you through His Word, which comes to us in the Bible. I want to talk to you a little bit about a resource that we make available to people in our church. It's a, a journal. It's a journal called The Spiritual Journal. That's really something, isn't it? And it talks to us about, explains to us how we can have a quiet time with God and gives us just a simple, systematic way to spend time with God every day. Now, this was a a product that was put together by Dr. Billy Hanks, who was the minister at large for the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association. And Billy Graham had given him an assignment and said, mend the nets. What he meant was, we're catching people, we're bringing people to knowledge of Christ, but then we lose them because they don't grow spiritually as disciples. So. I'm talking to you about a process of you becoming a disciple of Jesus Christ. If you have faith in Jesus Christ as your Savior, it's important for you to spend time every day reading the Word of God, praying, and listening to the voice of God through His Word. So, how do you do this? First, begin your quiet time with uh, a short time of prayer. and Just invite God to speak to you. Second is just pause and meditate for a moment. Get quiet. Uh, rarely do we ever get quiet. If I were to stop speaking for 30 seconds right now, it would become very uncomfortable for you and for me because we're not used to ever being quiet. The Bible says, be still and know that I'm God. That means we've got to get quiet before Him. And then take about five minutes or so and read a short passage of scripture. Uh, in this journal there is a suggested daily reading plan, but I'm going to tell you you could start anywhere in the Bible and begin reading. I would encourage you not to start with the book of Numbers or Leviticus. It would be better to start with one of the Gospels like, like John, for example, and just start reading the Gospel of John a few minutes every day. Today I'm going to use as a sample 1 Peter chapter 1. And then after you read for a few minutes, I want you to stop and think about what did you just read and what did it say to you? Um, was there anything in this passage that was a warning? Was there anything that was an encouragement for things that you should be doing? Was there any, who are the characters in the passage that you just read? What is it saying about them? And what does that mean for your life? And uh, begin just learning every day by prayer, reading the scriptures, being quiet, listening to what God is saying to you, and then you take this journal and you begin writing things down. For example, thy word have I treasured in my heart that I may not sin against thee, Psalm 119 verse 11, would be a good memory verse for your week. And then um, you begin each day reading through the passage that you're reading and taking notes on it. Well, now I've left you hanging. I want you to come back next week and I'm going to show you how to spend time every day just getting a little information out of each passage of Scripture and how to learn from it. So, see you next week.